So I did a little survey which Christmas song you want me to do this year and you voted for the Christmas song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire, Chord Melody Guitar Lesson. So here it is. Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, my jazz friendlings all over the world. Sandra Sherman here, greetings from Austria. I'll teach you this wonderful Christmas song, chord by chord, note for note, slow and easy. Uh, it isn't super easy, but it's doable for every intermediate jazz guitarist out there. I've made tabs and a backing track, which you can download from one of the links down below in the description box. Please read the short download instructions right next to the link. Now let me play through the entire song first and then I break it up slow and easy for you. The Christmas song is in the key of E-flat major and has a classic uh, jazz song form of A-A-B-A, -A -A, 8 bars each, and that's a total of 32 bars. Let's get started. Alright, here's phrase number one. These are the first four bars. We start with an E-flat 6 chord. This is 6-5-5-4 five, five, inner four strings. Here is the root. And now we go to the E flat 6 9 on the uh, 10th fret. 10, 10, 11, 11 of the upper four strings. Here would be the root. Actually, there is a root in here on top. Right? Now to the 5 chord, the B flat uh, 7. Here's the B flat. Uh, this is 6, 8, 10, 9, 10. Bar over to the 8th fret of the E string, right? 11 of B and the 9th of the B string. Resolution, the 1 chord, E flat major 7. That's a basic jazz chord and I have a playlist on jazz chords. And start out, if you're a beginner, start out with uh, the basic jazz 7th chords, okay? I play that once, then the B string and then the whole chord again. Now a 2, 5, 1, F minor 9. 8, 6, 8, 8, here is the F, 
to its 5 chord, the B flat 13, 6, no A string, 6, 7, 8. Right? You gotta be able to play this. This is a regular 2 5. We always have that in jazz. And then we start on the E flat 6 chord again, 6, 5, 5, 4. But this time we go to the E flat major 13. That's part of the E flat major here plus the 13 on top. So we have 8, 7, 8, 8. Then we go to the B flat minor 7. I borrow all over the 6th fret. 6 and I play the upper 3 strings too. 6, 6, 6. Then I go to the 9th of the B string. Now it's 5 chord, the E flat 7. I play the inner 4 strings. 6, 8, 6, 8. So although I bar, I keep I keep being barred, is that correct? I just play the inner four strings though. Then the sixth fret of the a, uh, B string. And the resolution, the A flat major chord. Four, five, five, four. And now a little filler up. So that's the sixth of the A E string, the third of the A string. That's a little bass line leading to the D flat 9 chord which I uh, kind of I have a pick a picking pattern up here 4 3 and then 4 and 4 of G and B together and back to the third of the uh, D string right no more melody here just uh, a filler now that was phrase one I played for you at slow tempo now. Here we go. Three, four. Phrase number two only has two bars, and we start with the uh, C minor seven. That's three, five, three, four of the inner four strings. I play that twice. And now I'll go to the sub five chord of G, which is D flat seven. That's a regular cowboy chord. Four, six, four, six. Then I lift my pinky off, play the whole chord again. That's kind of a D flat nine now back to the 6th of the B string by playing only the B string, right? C minor again, this time up on the 8th fret. Bar all over, but just play the E string. D, G and B string is the last one. Then 11 of B and 8 of E. You need to bar over till the E now. Stretch these notes out because they are quarter note triplets, so they go over half a bar. Then A flat, uh, sorry, A minor 11. I take advantage of the open A string, plus here's the A again, uh, 7, 9, 8, 10. I strum through that with my pick or my thumb. Okay, if you want to use your thumb, just glide your big pick back like on a rail and it's a little softer. Then it's 5 chord, D7 flat 9. We, we use a diminished chord for that. I just move my fingers in. 7, 8, 7, 8. That's a um, D7 flat 9 or a diminished. Right? That was it. Here is phrase number 2 at slow tempo. 3, 4. Phrase number three are two bars only again because this is a house or ending number one for the A1 section. All right, now we have a key change. Instead of going to uh, G minor, now we go to G major. That's the G here on the fifth of the D and seven, seven, seven of the uh, upper three strings. Play twice. Move to A flat minor 11. Here's A flat and here's the minor 11 chord. We had it on A before, now it's A flat. Right? Uh, uh, 6, 8, 7, uh, what is 9? Then I bridge over to the 7th of the E string. 
try to keep your tones ringing as long as possible. So leave things on the fretboard, your fingers on the fretboard as long as possible. Uh, where were we? Yeah, to its five chord, the D flat 13. Here would be the root, but we don't play it. Always memorize your virtual roots, I call them, which are not in the chord, but uh, in order to move them across the fretboard, you need to memorize those. So we have um, the third of the D, four, four, and six of E. D flat 13 this is. Then I lift this up and get the fourth of the E string. Resolution to the G flat major seven, like the G, but now on G flat. Four, six, six, six. One, two. F minor 11, this is kind of a sequence now. F minor 11, we had this before on other, in another key. Three, five, four, six. Bridge over to the fourth of the E, and it's five chord, the B flat 13, regular tension chord. Six, six, seven, eight. And your index goes to the sixth because now we start all over again on the A, um, A2 section which is, starts like the A1 section with E flat 6. All right, now let me repeat uh, phrase number three for you at slow tempo. Three, four. Now we are in the A2 section and before you play phrase four, which I'm gonna show you in a second, you gotta repeat phrases number one and two. Now instead of going to phrase three as in the first uh, section, now let's go to phrase four. This is the new one. And we go to G minor seven up here. Here is the G on the A string, 10, 12, 10, 11, inner four strings. Then I put my pinky on the 12th of the G string. Let everything ring together. C altered its five chord, or the five chord of the uh, progression. That's here would be the root. Actually, it is here down here too. That's eight nine nine eight. Uh, put your pinky on the eleventh of the B string. F minor seven, same as the G minor, but on the eighth fret. Eight ten eight nine. Uh, yeah. B flat seven, it's five chord, that's six, six, seven, it's a shell voicing or guide tone voicing. No tensions, no fifth, just the root, third and seventh. Right, B flat seven, and the resolution is the E flat six that we had in the beginning, six, five, five, four. And then I strum the rest, three more strums, if you will, you can do as many as you like, as long as you have the pickup uh, in time. This is the pickup. I have these, uh, these remain on the fretboard. That's the fourth of the B and the fifth of the G, a D, sorry. That's a sixth in the ball. I harmonize the melody in sixth in the key of E flat. Now I go to the third. This is my guiding finger. I'll leave it on the fretboard. Okay, let's check that so you can see everything. Third and the third of the B string and back to 5-4, so, right? All right, let's, uh, let me play the last phrase for you at slow tempo, 3-4. Now here's the B section, here are the first four bars. We start with the B flat minor seven chord. That's six, 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 upper three strings. And now I fill up with playing by playing the bass and the uh, D, G and B strings interchangeably. Right, so first up until the B, E string and then bass and up until the B string. Again. Try to play that uh, rhythm filler softer. So the first one is a little louder because it has the melody tone, the high E string. The rest is softer. Now we go to uh, the five chord, E flat 913. Here would be the root. 
five, six, six, eight, six of E and five of E. And now it gets a little tricky. We have to play an A flat major nine with the bass in thumb, uh, thumb in bass. <laughs> I'm a little dyslexic sometimes. All right, uh, five, five of D and G, four of B and six of E. I start with this, and now I add the bass. So I have my filler again, bass, and now the D, G and B strings like before for the filler. Right? And now I play that, we have that same pickup we had from A to B section. 5-4, these fingers are already lying here. 3-3 three, three, and 5-4. Now we go to the uh, B flat minor seven chord, this time stretched over six, uh, six of G, B, and nine of E. Now move your pinky to the eight, nine, and eight. Oops, have a little more pressure. Uh, with your right arm, you can add a little more pressure to your fretboard, all right? So you don't have to press it as hard with your left hand. Then we go to the E flat, seven flat nine. That's a diminished chord. Bar this. Usually I wouldn't bar this, but we need to do this thing here too. So I bar over eight, nine, eight, nine. I, I bar over the eighth fret. And I eight, nine, eight again, right? So from here to the A flat major nine again, one more time. As before, right? Upper th three plus bass or plus D string. I have written actually, yeah. Bass, th three strings, bass, three strings, and then the pickup. And that was it for phrase five. Now here it is at slow tempo. Three, four. Phrase six are the last four bars of the B section, so here we go. We now have a sequence everything down to A flat minor seven, key change, fourth fret, four, four, seven, six, seven, like before. But not going back to the six like before, but to the D flat six, uh, seven, sorry. That's uh, four, six, four, six of the inner four strings. Then I bridge over to the sixth of the E, four, two. Here's my melody. Resolution G flat major nine, three, 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 two, four. Bass, and up till the B string, D, G, B string, for the fill, right? Now directly going to B7, that's 2, 1, 2, pink it to the 2nd of the E string, 4th of the E string and 2nd of the E string, right, C minor 11, 8, 8, 8, 6, 6th fret of the B string three, three more times, F7. I'll leave these fingers here and reshape for F7. Here's the F8786. Two more B strings. Those are quarter note triplets, so again, stretch them like chewing, chewing gum. And here's the 2 5. F minus 7 by just removing this and bar over the 6th fret, 8, 6, 8, 6 of the inner 4 strings. F minus 7, little bass line, 8, 7 of the E string, 6, and now the rest of the B flat 7 follows, 6 of D and 7 of uh, G. So that's the shell voicing or guide tone voicing again. Right, here's the 
goes three six at slow tempo. Two, three, four. And here is the A3 section. Before you play phrase 7, which I'm going to show you now, uh, please play phrase number 1. And now we go to phrase 7, um, the last, the diff third ending actually of the A section. So C minor 7, 3, 5, 4, uh, 3, 5, 3, 4. Lift the middle finger up, play the B string on the third, and back to the fourth. Go to D flat seven, four six four six in the four strings. Lift your pinky up, so get a fourth of the B string and back to the six. C minor seven. That's almost like a phrase two. C, uh, eight 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 till the B string. Eleven eight. Right. A minor eleven. 0, 7, 9, 8, 10. And now I don't go to that D flat, D7 flat 9 chord, the diminished voicing, but first I play the upper one. So unlike the first uh, A section, now I go up here. That's 10, 11, 10, 11. And now I go to that voicing of the A1 section. That's uh, 7, 8, 7, 8. So. Christmas, this is this thing. And now the last turnaround. Christmas, uh, G minor 7, 5, 7, 6, 6, C minor 7, 8, 8, 8, F minor 7, that's 8, 6, 8, B flat 9, 5, 6, 5, 6, here would be the root. But we start on its third, so that's five six five six, and then we have the last ending chord. It's E flat six again, six five five four. All right, and here is phrase number seven at slow tempo, three four. If you want to get more Christmas songs under your fingers so you're ready for a great Christmas Eve, uh, I suggest you check out my Christmas playlist. I have some Christmas tutorials in there and some uh, tabs are even for free. So check it out and I wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, have a peaceful time, please be kind to one another and stay safe and healthy. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.